Hey guys, your objective of this video is to find the internal pressure when A, the door is open, and B, when the door is closed, assuming building is sealed when door is closed. Okay, so we're looking at two cases, when the door is A, open, and when the door is B, closed. So, let's do for the door open first. Now, the pressure is, once again, the exact same formula. The major difference now is this C fig is different but C fig equals CPI KC. Okay, so where's this from? This is from page 27. Now we have two separate things for K fig. So if you let me zoom in for you. So you can see here, for external pressures, which we've been doing, which is lin uh, windward, leeward, side walls and roof, we've been using this. For internal pressures, now it changes to CPI and KC. Now, KC is a combination factor. We've just said that that equals one, okay? We, we said that at the start, um, that the combination factor is one. Okay, if I show that to you as well. So we can ignore area reduction. Ignoring area reduction and combination factor essentially means it's one, okay? So, all we need to find is this CPI. Now we go to table 5.1 on page 29. So flipping over a couple pages, we have table 5.1. We have 5.1a and 5.1b. Okay. Now when we're looking at openings, we have internal pressure coefficients for buildings with opening interior plan, dominant opening on one surface, or we also have internal pressure coefficient of building with opening interior plan, cases for permeable walls without dominant opening. Now, if we look back at what our structure had, we had a dominant opening on one wall. If I show you, we had this um, garage door, whatever it was, it was five.